All right. Welcome back to Sanctum of the Fallen. This around here at the corner is a door that I have found. And I'm guessing it is the door to the next area. Courtyard of the Dam. Maybe. I'm not sure. I don't know. Am I at the right place? Oh, I'm still looking around for where I need to go. Here's another door that requires a key to the black depths. I don't know. I'm not really sure if this is the right way to go, but I haven't been here before, so let's check it out. Oh, junk. Down we go. Door unlocked with the key of gluttony, it said. Key of sloth. Lust. Envy. Greed. Pride. Wrath. Black depths. Oh, junk. What are these? Burning Daedra? Drimera? Lesser Shade of Wrath? Alright, let's dance. Tremble before the blades of the destroyer. Let's dance. Shades of wrath. I've got the swords of wrath. <laughs> oh, there's a big guy. Oh, what are you? Shade of wrath. Nothing stand and he dies. The final seal, enigmatic armor of the Shadow Master. Health, magic, health regenerates. Sneaking better, magic regenerates. Wow, the final seal. Shade of Wraths. <sighs> the Tomb of the Divine. Well, here we go. The final seal. Oh, that's stealth. I don't like the sound of that. I'm gonna be sneaking for a little while. I like things not. I like big evil things that try to eat me to not know that I'm here. Holy freak. If they're just normal dragons, whoa. If they're just normal dragons, I can cut them down quickly. Oh my god. Whoa. <sighs> okay, this is ridiculous. That like fiery, ethereal dragons flying around. Freaking, and then there's that thing that just disappears. Oh lord. Oh god! Spell. But it looks like it can't touch me. I might have found a safe spot. Oh god. As if this fight's not gonna be rough enough. Oh, at least I have that cow that gives me even more sneak attack damage. Because I have a feeling I'm gonna be pulling a sneaky strike runaway combo in this time too. Sounds like some of them are fighting. I don't know. I do 
not like the rest of this. I'm not sure how much of this is your problem. This is actually really creepy. The roaring of the dragons, and they're swooping all around. There's actually multiple paths up that I found out, and of course I keep taking the wrong ones. God dang it. Back down I go. Actually, never mind. I'm retarded. They all lead to the same spot. They have this right here. Which will probably take me right up to the top. Okay, then. Here we go. Alright. Oh, oh, oh god. Can I not hit me in here? Oh, what is that? I'm so happy that it hit me. Holy. dying everywhere. Where is he? Oh. I don't know where he is. What happened? I found him. Ah!
relative safety. God, I don't know if this spell ever ends.
again. I'm gonna be quick sick every five seconds. He falls to the floor. Oh shoot. I better get some loot off his body. Where'd his body go? Oh, what was that? Ashbringer. <laughs> Explode, what the heck? They all have a springer. <gasps> Akatosh! No, come back, Akatosh! Come back! Come float back up. Come on. Come on. Alright, he's probably through here. Oh, Akatosh just fell. Better not have fallen. The heck? What's going on? Oh, he's falling, he's falling, he's falling. Come closer, come closer. What the heck? I looted the wrong thing, god dang it. Oh, here he comes again. <laughs> come on, come on. Come on, come, 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 come. Dang it, dang it. Arg! Come on, come on. Oh shoot, dang it. Uh-huh. Shoot. How oh, do I loot it? Oh, I got it. I already looted something just because I was rapid clicking the button, but what did I get? The Black Curus of the Fallen Champion. You've got to be kidding. Increase your health by 10,000 points. Magical resistance is by 90%. Health regenerates 10,000% faster. Shock by 90. Fire by 90. Frost by 90. Increases arm heavy armor skill by a hundred points. Oh my god. I can't read all that, but it's crazy. Carrying capacity, disease, armor rating by 10,000. Holy black curus. Dreaded, torment and despair. Oh, it's that. The divine thing. That spell that I hate with a fiery passion. I will take that. Soul Cleaver. 12 bleeding damage every second for 3 seconds. Eh. Not that great. Armor piece, dragon flesh, dragon heart. Oh, that's from my other mod. Oh. Well, that was Sanctum of the Fallen. And it could not have had a more... Well, aside from Akatosh falling through the floor at the end... It could not have had a possibly more epic ending. Freaking dragons fighting everywhere, head to head with uh, with Akatosh, dramatic beating, and it I was actually able to have it as a legitimate fight. I was able to actually use him to pretty much cover myself from the storm. I only died a couple times to it. Oh, freaking epic! Yeah. It makes me so happy. <laughs> that was this was a this was a completely epic mod, extremely dramatic, very well done. I love the environment, love the place. Had a few frustrations with a couple of the bosses, namely, of course, the one-shotting spell of doom, and a couple of the bosses I kind of had to be cheap to end up killing. 
Uh, but I'm just too, I'm just too, I don't know. I don't really have the words to describe that last boss fight. That was, that was better than anything Bethesda has pretty much come up with. God, stop falling through the floor. I know you're a god, but you shouldn't be able to bend matter in space like that way after you're dead. Uh, this is just a great mod, and I guess I could go on and on about just how much fun this was to play. But... I suppose, I guess, anybody watching this, download it yourself and play it yourself, though you've kind of been spoiled now. The storyline with this mod, I didn't think it was actually even had a real storyline. I thought it was just a bunch of powerful bosses to kill under, going on the, um, along the theme of the seven deadly sins kind of thing, but the fact that this actually had a point and, like, a real story behind it, stop it, um, it was just incredible. Very well done, mod. This was Sanctum of the Fallen. Signing off.